welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear. I am a reader and a writer. So in my October TBR, I talked about I was just going to be a mood reader, and I mentioned one of the things I was working on were reading the nominations for the Hugos. And Kristen L. reached out to me and asked me to share my rankings, which made me go back and look at my list. And I kind of had sampled through all the different categories. And so at this point, I've only finished one list completely, and that is the novellas. So today is my novella ranking. And as I finish the rest, I will post some more because she asked. Now, of the six nominations, I enjoyed all of them. Four of them received a four star for me and two a five star. I'm going to start with my lowest ranking and go upwards. In the number six spot for me, I have Riot Baby by Tochi Anyabuchi. Again, I gave this a four star, so I really liked it. However, I feel that it would have been a better story if it had been Ella's story versus Kevin's. We had started with Ella and then switching to a different main character for a novella it just felt off for me and it didn't work. Now, I do have a dedicated review for this and I do mention that I am a white female. I don't believe that I'm the audience for this book. And so take that into consideration as I am talking about why it didn't work for me. I'm not the audience for this book, so you should go read it anyway. That's my conclusion. For me, in rank number five, I have Come Tumbling Down by Seanan McGuire. And this is us visiting Jack and Jill again and the Moors. I like this style of writing from Seanan McGuire. I feel with her Hidden Doors series, I don't remember what this series name is. I, with this Portal Fantasy series, I feel like she has one where it's a good narrative, and then the next where there's a lot of info dumping and telling. And then this one was really good narrative. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed getting to see the world of the Moors further. I am interested in knowing some more elements. We know we have the drowning gods and the werewolves. And it sounded like there might be also a goblin faction. Yeah, it'd be interesting to have more stories placed in the Moors or more characters that go end up going to the moors, meeting Jack, whatnot, that would be fun. Rank number four for me is Upright Women Wanted by Sarah Gailey. This is a post-apocalyptic future where we have converted back to westerns. It was a very odd genre mix. At first I thought it was more of an alternative history western, and then they started talking about modern day items like roads and cars and I realized oh no this is supposed to be like after an apocalypse and dystopia is not my favorite <laughs> um, I, I've never really enjoyed dystopia stories so there's that coming into third I have ring shout by P. Jelly Clark. Clark is someone who I love their writing and I love getting to know their characters. And this, Maurice is a demon hunter and she slays the demons called Ku Kluxes. And these are people who are so racist that they have turned into literal demons. And the demons have their own agenda as she finds out through this story. Again, I think that Clark is an amazing writer. I especially love how he mixes historical and with his fantasy. And so this is an alternative history and I really enjoyed it. Rank coming in in number two. So not the one that I would like to win, but it's I think a strong contender for winning is The Empress of Salt and Fortune by Nevo. This actually in my personal rating system got the highest rating. And I really did enjoy it. It's about a librarian who is, now that the Empress is dead, has come upon the opportunity to collect stories in, about her life from one of her s servants. 
one of her confidants. And it's the weaving of how a queen who had been exiled then becomes the empress. For me, coming into rank number one is Fina by Nino Cipri. This is set in an alternate world, I guess you might say, in a big box story that resembles Ikea. And because of how Ikea, or because how Littenvarld is shaped, wormholes connecting the multiverse are common occurrences. And a wormhole happens and a customer gets lost in it and Ava and Jules, the youngest two employees, have to go find the customer. And I loved this, the idea, the setup, all of it. And I I have already read the sequel to this and I really enjoyed that one as well. To be honest, I don't think that this is going to be the winner, but I really would like it to be because it's my favorite. So that is my quick ranking of the novella's nominations for the Hugos. If you have read the nominations or read any of these, please let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thank you and have a great day.